The station wagon version of the Mercedes C-Class is feeling some pressure from two models at once. The sporty BMW 3 Series station wagon will be available in September, and the roomy VW Passat variant comes to German showrooms next week. Despite its age, the C-Class has not suffered from any loss of prestige. The BMW looks a little chopped off, as if BMW's designers ran out of room on the page when they were drawing the rear end. The Passat makes an impression that is conservative but not boring. What's unusual about this car is that it is more than 20 centimeters longer than its competitors. All three models are in the premium range, yet they all seek to satisfy different customer demands, be it a station wagon built for style-conscious individuals or a spacious family vehicle. Yet despite their differences, a comparison is called for, especially when it comes to loading space and roominess. As we reported in the latest print issue of Auto Motor and Sport magazine, the VW Passat is unbeatable in terms of size. Its passengers are offered the greatest amount of room, with an interior height of 100 centimeters in the front and 97 and a half in the rear, as well as an interior width of over 150 centimeters. The rear of the BMW is adequate for a wagon, but nevertheless it is still somewhat cramped. Passengers in the Mercedes will have to move closer together too. At 142 centimeters, it has the narrowest interior width in the group. Station wagon buyers want practical vehicles with cleverly designed features. No problem for the Mercedes. With two hand movements, the seats can be folded down to create a flat loading space. Longer objects, however, will have to stay outside. The 3 Series offers a few centimeters more. The sloped loading surface, however, is a source of irritation and makes the BMW's cargo capacity hardly any better than that of the Mercedes. It is equally ill-suited for transporting bulky items. Here's where the VW Passat scores big. Removing the headrests, however, in order to create a flat surface when folding down the seats is impractical. But once you've done so, the car has a payload capacity of 568 kilograms. With up to 1,731 liters of cargo space with the seats down, it is the only wagon in our group which can accommodate the entire length of our ore. The BMW offers up to 1,385 liters of space, and the Mercedes has 1,354 liters with the seats down. Just because these wagons can haul cargo doesn't mean they shouldn't be fun. The two newest subjects in our test are at the front of the pack in this respect. The Passat variant offers the most comfortable suspension. Its 140 horsepower 2 liter diesel engine makes for good performance, but is anything but a speed demon. Unlike the BMW, the 320D impresses with its harmonious power delivery and good response. Its 163 horsepower engine gives it a top speed of 223 kilometers per hour. The Mercedes enters the race with 150 horsepower and is more agile in the slalom than the Passat. The VW shows a strong tendency to understeer and its traction reserves are too low. Neutral turn-in with low body roll, precise steering and a well-tuned suspension make the BMW the king of our handling tests. The interior of the Mercedes impresses with its high fit and finish as well as the quality of its materials. The VW Passat could learn a thing or two from the Mercedes. Here, the plastics are far too hard, making it difficult to create an impression of premium class quality. On the positive side, though, controls are easy to operate, the seats are nice, and comfort is first rate. Comfort-loving passengers will have to make a few compromises with the BMW, on the other hand. Here, the eye is treated to sporty design and high-quality materials. Both front seats offer good lateral support. In this category, the Mercedes C-Class displays no real weaknesses. It scores points in terms of quality and features, yet its limited space and high price relegate it to third place. The Passat variant is the first choice for those looking for a lot of space, and it's also the least expensive in our group. 
but because of its handling deficits vis-à-vis -vis the BMW, it will have to settle for a second-place finish. As a more lifestyle-oriented wagon, the BMW really lives up to its name. It's the fastest, the most fun, and the most fuel-efficient. On the BMW, characteristics such as roominess and loading capacity are available only in short supply. The BMW takes home the prize, but in the end, personal priorities such as sportiness or roominess will determine who the real winner is.